So, apparently, I've been exposed. And not only have I been exposed, I've been exposed by a Eugene. I mean, I kind of knew this day was coming, right? I knew eventually the Eugenes would fight back. It was only a matter of time, and I guess today is that day. So, today we're going to be watching this video titled birdman exposed and as you can see from the title and the thumbnail i'm sure you can kind of predict how this video is gonna go but you might be asking yourself you know birdman what are you getting exposed for like what did you do right okay well according to the video i'm being exposed for being a 36 year old transphobic age phobic gender phobic homophobic racist and I may have forgotten something in there. I don't know. Basically, take any group of people in the world and add the word phobic to them. And that's me, according to uh, Eugene here. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think the video is a joke. At least, I'm really hoping that it's a joke and this isn't serious. But the thing is, I've gotten a lot of people who actually do believe this type of stuff. Like, this is one of the main criticisms that I get. Like, there's just people out there who, who watch some of my videos and, and they don't understand that it's a joke. They don't understand that I'm not seriously, like, mad at the people in the video. Like, that just, it doesn't register with them and they get really upset. So I figured we may as well watch this video together and uh, watch me get exposed. You might notice something uh, different about me. Yeah. I'm just a prank, bro. Alright, first of all, as we've all identified you as part of the Eugene species within the first 10 seconds of the video, I wanted to ask you a question. Where the fuck did all that hair just come from? Listen, I told y'all, man, Eugene's, they know how to hide shit. Like, if this dude can hide all that hair, think about how fucking easy it would be for him to hide an AK in his backpack. Like, I'm dead serious. You really gotta watch. Eugene's have a special skill for hiding things. Okay, so today I want to talk about the one and only lovely Birdman. You might know him, you might love him, you might hate him. Most of you might hate him probably. But, uh, Birdman. Can I just say something before we get any further? Either put the drink down or finish it. Those are your only two options. We're trying to listen to your video here we don't need to hear you slurping down your fucking drink. It is not a pleasant sound to hear. So finish it or put it down. I don't want to hear it again. Okay, I'm Birdman. This is a sick 36 year old man who makes videos that are transphobic, homophobic, and racist. So first things first, hashtag get old men off of YouTube. So Birdman 36. So I guess here is where the exposing starts. I see the Eugenes have tried to come up with their own movement, the uh, hashtag get old men off of YouTube movement. I mean, that's a pretty good hashtag. I'm gonna go ahead and tweet that out right now and we'll see what people have to say. All right, so we're on Twitter. Let's go ahead and do this hashtag real quick. Hashtag get old men off of YouTube. YouTube. Alright, let's just tweet that out. Let's see what uh people got to say about it. I don't know. We'll see what people say. Hey, I want to see me roast uh, the COD Twitter. Look at this one. Hold on. <laughs> They're mad as hell. Hold on. I got another roast for them too. Where was the other one I tweeted to them? Uh, hold on. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You're like 36, triggered. That would be you then. Get Twitch whores off of Twitch. The response seems to be going pretty well. I think the movement has begun. Finally, a cause we can all get behind. Alright, let me just tweet this out before everyone freaks out. You will understand later. Alright. So yeah, hashtag get old men off of YouTube. Ah, 
So, why is Birdman homophobic or transphobic, you may ask? Well, first things first. Almost all his videos are about how bad trans people are, and he actually thinks that trans, being trans, is a mental illness. Alright, so here we are on my video manager, and his first point was that apparently almost all of my videos are about transgender people. So, as you can see here, I have 1,043 videos. So, let's just search up how many of these thousand videos are actually about transgender, okay? So, just type that in. That will bring up every video that has transgender in the title or in the tags. And there are one, two, three, four videos on my entire channel that have transgender in the title or in the tags. And let's go ahead and go back. Four out of 1,043. And according to Eugene here, that is apparently almost all of my videos. Now, as far as the second point, I think we should just ask Google on this one, okay? So, is transgender a men mental illness? Let's see what Google has to say. So, the very first result out of everything, click on that one, and it's from Johns Hopkins Psychiatrist. Transgender is mental disorder sex change biologically impossible okay so if we go down a little further we have uh, Dr. Paul R. McHugh the former psychiatrist in chief for Johns Hopkins Hospital and its current distinguished service professor of psychiatry so he seems pretty qualified and he said transgenderism is a mental disorder that merits treatment interesting so it seems that actual doctors agree with me that it is a mental illness or disorder uh, now I know what you're gonna say but Birdman look at this second post why is a transgender person not considered to have a mental illness now I would like to just point out the source as you can see here we have tumblr.com so I think I'm going to take the word of an actual doctor at a, you know, notable hospital in Johns Hopkins that we've all heard of over some dude on Tumblr. You know what I'm saying? I think one of those sources is a little bit more credible. And he also thinks that gay, being gay, as long as you don't come near with a gay shit, it's okay. But that's pretty homophobic, mate. So, apparently, me saying, miss me with that gay shit, is now homophobic. Number one, it's a joke. Number two, how have you never heard someone say that before? Like, that's something people say. Like, it's almost like a meme or something. I'm not the one who fucking invented that, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a common thing that people say, and it's accepted as a joke. And it's not even really offensive at all. It's more of, like, a, a neutral stance rather than attacking or supporting it. It's just like, nah, like, I don't want to be involved. For example, like, if I try to compare it to something else, uh, I'll compare it to myself. I like working out, right? So... If we were talking, I was like, hey, you want to go to the gym? Let's go get a workout in or something. And you'd be like, nah, miss me with that fitness shit, right? I'd be like, okay, cool, bro. I'm gonna go do my thing. You know, it's the same thing. Now, in this case, you may be into penis. And, you know, you come up to me like, hey, bro, you want to uh, go suck on this penis? I'd be like, nah, man, miss me with that gay shit. I I'm not a part of that. And you'd be like, okay, cool, man. I'm gonna go do my thing. Like, it's really the same concept. There's really no negativity here. People who spread hate speech around... People who spread <laughs> people who spread hate speech across YouTube shouldn't be allowed to upload videos, and it's good that he got two strikes. Yeah, fuck you, little bitch, fucking American. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I ain't gonna say it no more. But um, he also seems to call people that are gay and shit and then um, Eugene's and that's really offensive like using Eugene as a bad word because I have a friend who's called Eugene. Is anyone surprised that this guy has a friend named Eugene? But like I mean Birdman is being so age phobic and transphobic. I mean age is fluent you know you choose your own age. The age that was given to you at birth 
isn't your age. There's a big difference between mental age and mental, no, and physical age, okay? So if you're 50 and you want to be five and fuck around with the five-year-old girls, that's okay. Let me just quote that last line for you again. If you're 50 and you want to be five and fuck around with five-year-old girls, that's okay. Well, that's quite the interesting approach you got there. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree, especially with the fuck around part. I'm, I'm not quite sure what that means. I, I think he has, he has like a son and a daughter. And <clears throat> in a lot of his videos, he's like, let me catch my son doing, and then it's like some gay shit or something. Let me catch him. And then implying, of course, that he's gonna beat his son for being himself. I mean, I feel so bad for his kids, like a 36-year-old man that beats his children. His son is probably even named Eugene. Alright, well, I think we're just gonna leave it at that. No comment really required for that last part. In conclusion, I mean, I guess I better just deactivate and delete my account because this guy exposed me to the world and, like, I don't know how to come back from this. Now everyone knows that I'm a transphobic 36 year old child beating racist so fuck man like I, I guess I've been exposed but anyways I mean if you still like me after finding out the truth if you could leave a like rating on the video that would be much appreciated subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that thank you guys all for watching and have a good day peace out